She has yeah. this in her. All right. See you, May May. Bye bye. Love you. Bye. All right. Have fun. Love you guys. Date night. All right, guys. So we're at Payway. We don't come often enough to venture out. We're looking at the menu, and there's all these new things. We're like, oh, that looks good. But guess what? We're both going with the usuals because. He's here. And Orange Bill. You know, this is why we need one in Ogden. There's a new strip in Riverdale. Payway, we need you to come there so we can venture out and come here more often and try more stuff. Right, yeah, let's do two of them. Two four pieces, the Mango California and the uh, Teriyaki Crunch. We're out of both of those. You're out of both of them? Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh no. That. Uh, those and then which the... ones do you have? We have we have the chicken rolls. So we have those the wasabi crunch roll and the spicy chicken roll. You wanna do that, bit? And edamame. order of edamame. A small or a large? Large. <laughs> this is like raw tuna, babe. Mm -hmm. This is the most raw sushi I've ever eaten. It's actually. This is not. You have had. Raw tuna? Well, I've had that one in Geary or Geary or. In Geary. Geary? Alright. Jared did not like I don't know about it. Jared did not like sushi when. First got married. I'm really good actually. I converted them. Pretty proud. I'm eating the piece off the table. <laughs> All right, so if you notice, we got some honey seared sauce, some orange peel sauce. You've always got to ask for some extra sauce because they just don't make it like they used to anymore. Ooh, they're just sassy people. All right, we're gonna do the edamame race. First one to ten wins. Ready? Ew. I'm done. What? I was done. Whatever. We're gonna have to watch the replay on that one. Who won, guys? Hey. Read it out loud. Alright, keep up the good work. You will be rewarded in the next month. Oh, I like that. Nice. In the next month, huh? I also have uh, I also have some fortune cookies for the kids because what kind of father would I be if I left my kids fortuneless? <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> My husband's up to no good. <laughs> Look at these shades. These are they're sweet. So... They're less than five bucks. It would make for some pretty gnarly suntan lines, though. <laughs> Sometimes we break the rules in dressing rooms. Jared is a connoisseur of food whenever he makes food. He takes forever, layers it, and it's all meticulously put together. <laughs> and you feel, feel the glory of that spoon actually. <laughs> Just waiting here while he meticulously prepares our frozen cookies. <laughs> So we're at Walmart, we got all of the supplies for the pinhole viewer. We've got some Pringles cans for our just tubes. A, just a few. Just a few, all flavors. And we've got some red cups, some super glue. I don't know that we'll need that. We need that around the house. And a magnifying glass. There was only one left, so I'm gonna have to drop Mandy off. 
post date night and zip over to another Walmart to try and get more of these because, uh, yeah, one's not going to cut it. So at home, we already have duct tape. Um, is there anything else we need, babe? Push pin. And a push pin. So we've got all that at home. So, But if you don't have that at home, you're going to want to pick up those supplies. Now we're going to pour the chips in the bag and we're going to keep them in this bag so we can make a telescope. Oh, whoa! New bag. So the first thing we're going to do is use your pen to poke a hole in the center of the pan. And we're going to poke it on this red little dot right here. So now we're going to poke it. Tiny. Got it. No, maybe this one's tougher. So, yeah. Oh, can you see the little dog? Yeah, little dog right I can there. see it. So you can see that we have this little dog, and it's like the sun, and there's this little hole through it, and it's reflecting on the table. Now we're gonna cut off the bottom of a second can. Okay, so now we're gonna go like this and tape these cans together. Do. For now, to hold it, we just need to hold it together for now. Are we going to wrap it all in? Okay. Eventually. Now our tube is completed. Now we're going to top, cut off the top four inches. Now we're top, cutting off the top four inches. So, it's taking a while. Really hard to cut off these. Oh, forgot. I went off course on the scissors. Of course, you went on scissors. There you go. This is hard, Dad. You want some help? Oh, uh, no. I'm good. Whoa, oh, we're in that crack. Good. There you go. Ready? Yep. One more big cut right there. Hey! Yay. All right. Awesome. We got a pie! All right. Let's use this to measure and get the same length on that one. So, if this is the top. Right, so you can see a little door Alright, there's your starting point with your scissors. Now, is this for me? Now you see we've cut off the thing. Yay, we got another! So cool. you want to make sure that you trim off the edges so it's smooth and level. We're going to use these plastic bags as a screen. And we're go you want to make sure that the smooth side is up. You're making two. So you're gonna want to tape this and cut off the remaining bag. All right, so our filter's on and we're gonna cut off the rest of the bag. So we should be able to um, see the image of the sun on this plastic screen. Okay, so now we're gonna take this and put it on the top so the filter is in between this one and this one. And now we're going to tape it up. All right, so we're going to make an adapter. The small end fits in the Pringle can, and the large end fits with the magnifying glass we got. Now we're gonna tape these adapters on. We actually used two cups so that it was stronger, and now we're going to tape on our magnifying glasses. Awesome. So we finished taping the magnifying glass on and then we taped the entire tube so it looked nicer. It looks like a bazooka! Bam, bam, boom, bam, bam. Hey, so will you be the sun for me? Sure. Oh my gosh, that totally works. Let me see it. Bam, bam, boom, bam, boom. Okay. Can you see it, boss? Yeah, put, it, look, put it right in the middle of it. Yeah. See, boss? Uh, no. Uh, there. You now I see it. Now I see it. We're so excited to see the eclipse this coming um, Monday. 
So we're actually driving up to Idaho because the visibility there is going to be 100%. Now I'll do it. That means at 11 o'clock it's going to be pitch black. It will literally be like midnight without a star or a moon or anything. We hope you'll have fun making your pinhole sun viewers. And till next time, keep on dreaming. Bye!